Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about the coverings of the kidney. Usually we can see the four coverings of the kidney, namely the fibrous capsule, perinephric fat, renal fascia and the paranephric fat. Now let us see each of this covering in detail. Okay, now firstly the fibrous capsule. This fibrous capsule is a dense irregular connective tissue that covers the outer surface of the kidney and what is the importance of this uh, covering is in a normal kidney which is not affected it can be easily striped off it can be easily striped off but in a diseased condition like inflammation of the kidney this cannot be striped off as it is adherent to this kidney so in the normal condition it can be easily striped off in inflammated condition it gets sticker to it very close that it couldn't be striped off easily this is all about the fibrous capsule now coming to the perinephric fat or the perirenal fat peri the word itself tell around next to so perirenal fat so a layer of the adipose tissue that surrounds this fibrous capsule is called the perinephric fat so what is its function is they provide cushioning they provide cushioning to the kidney and also together with that it provides insulating property insulating property and what happens is in some kind of diseases this uh, perinephric fat will be depleted now what happens due to the depletion of the perinephric fat depletion of the perinephric fat it causes the downward displacement of the kidney now downward displacement will be causing the kinking of ureter kinking of ureter now what is this kinking of ureter let us see so initially if this is the kidney like this you'll be having this ureter but when it comes down what happens it will be raising up so it comes like this this is called the kinking of the ureter now this is about the perirenal fat and its depletion causes downward displacement of the kidney now coming to the renal fascia this renal fascia is all oh i'm sorry yeah this is called the renal fascia this is the renal fascia this renal fascia is also called the false capsule or also called the fascia of garota okay this renal fascia what's its main function just like all others even it will be having an importance its main function is it anchors the kidney to the posterior abdominal wall this is the main important thing it anchors the kidney to the posterior abdominal wall and it is also a dense irregular connective tissue if you see it will be having two layers an anterior layer and the posterior layer each of this layer are given a different names the anterior layer is also called the fascia of tight and the posterior layer is also called the fascia of succulent now this renal fascia is extended in different direction superiorly inferiorly medially and laterally so superiorly what happen is it encloses the adrenal gland and fuses and undercovers the fascia undercovers the fascia this is called the suspensory ligament of the adrenal suspensory ligament of the adrenal inferiorly what happened this anterior layer it fuses or it get merged up with the extra peritoneal connective tissue extra peritoneal connective tissue whereas the posterior layer it blends with the fascia iliaca what happened this is all in inferior extension now coming to the medial medially anterior layer see medially the anterior layer will be passing in front of these renal vessels and the posterior layer will fuse with the fascia covering the uh, this quadratus lumborum and the psoas major now lat i mean laterally both of them fuses and continue with the fascia transversalis okay continue as a, continue with the fascia transversalis 
this is all about the renal fascia now coming to the paranephric fat this paranephric fat is a fat tissue again which is present between the anterior layer of the renal fascia and the peritoneum so present between the anterior layer of the renal fascia or simply the renal fascia and the peritoneum so it is present only in the anterior aspect now what are all the structures helping this kidney to stay in its position they are pressure from the neighboring viscera and the deposition of the renal fat and the renal fascia i have already told you this renal fascia helps in attaching the kidney to the posterior abdominal wall okay and whereas the renal fat like perinephric fat its deficiency causes downward displacement of the fascia and downward displacement of the kidney in such a way these factors are helping the kidney to keep in its position okay this is all about the coverings of the kidney thank you for watching my video